Mark, uh, four minutes, uh, 45 seconds. The uh, flash evaporator is activated on board to cool right, Columbia. Roger, set low here. Roger, stand by. We'll keep an eye on it. Mark, four minutes, 56 seconds. Columbia is lofting early in the second stage. Is now being taken out of the trajectory as programmed. Columbia now 74 nautical miles in altitude, 181 nautical yeah, miles. Glad you're enjoying it. Roger, Columbia Mike Ryan is on the way down to Mark, uh, 5 minutes 15 seconds. Uh, Columbia now 75 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 202 nautical miles downrange. Velocity now reading 11,000 feet per second. Uh, a status check and mission controlled by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. Columbia, Houston, your go at 5.30, Miko, 8 plus 3, 4. Mark, uh, five minutes, uh, 40 seconds. That call up from Capcom, Brandon okay, Stein, says that Columbia's trajectory navigation and engine performance look good. Columbia, reading you loud and clear. Okay, you're clear, a little weak. Mark, uh, five minutes, 55 and seconds. Columbia, we just switched over Bermuda. Voice should be getting better here in a second. Okay, that's good. Six minutes, uh, Columbia now 76 nautical miles in altitude, 280 nautical miles down range, velocity now reading 13,000 feet per second. Columbia Houston, uh, could we have the cryo heaters, please? And Columbia, your single engine rota. Mark, uh, six minutes, 25 okay, seconds. That call up from Capcom Brandon Stein says that if a two engine failure occurred, Columbia is capable of an emergency landing at Rotor Naval Air Station, Spain. Mark uh, six minutes, 40 seconds. Columbia pitching over now, diving to increase velocity, decrease altitude, giving Columbia her most favorable attitude. Columbia now 72 nautical miles in altitude, 373 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading uh, 16,400 feet per second. Standing by for a single engine uh, Prestamico call up from Capcom Brandon Stein. Columbia, your single engine Prestamico. Mark, 7 minutes, 20 okay, seconds. That report down. says a young and Crippen can achieve orbital insertion even if two engines go out. Mark, uh, 7 minutes, 30 seconds. Columbia, 67 nautical miles in altitude, 485 nautical miles down range. G-Force is building for young and Crippen now up to 3 Gs. Mark, uh, 7 minutes, uh, 45 seconds. Columbia's main engine slowly being throttled back now. Should be throttled at 65% at six seconds before main engine cutoff. Status check in the control center. Columbia Houston, you're go at eight. Mark, eight minutes, four right, seconds. Panel, looking good. Columbia now 63 nautical miles in altitude, 606 nautical miles downrange. Mark, eight minutes, 15 seconds. Columbia now... 63 nautical miles in altitude, 650 nautical miles downrange. Standing by now for main engine cutoff. Admiral 25670 up at 223 per second. Roger, Columbia, Miko. Confirm shut down. Uh, Columbia, the gem of this new ocean now in space, not yet in orbit. Uh, now standing by now for external tank separation. Okay, we've had SEP. Roger, we confirm the SEP, Columbia. Nine minutes, three seconds. Confirm external tank separation. Columbia now per performing an evasive maneuver. Moving below and beyond and translating the north of the external tank. Uh, Young should see it moving away out his window. Now 
Nine minutes, 40 seconds. Go, no, go. Status check and mission control for the first Ohms burn. Give it a go. Columbia Houston, your go for nominal Ohms 1 and for APU shutdown on time. Mark, nine minutes, 55 seconds. Columbia now maneuvering to its Ohms 1 burn attitude. Using the 26,000-pound thrust engine, the Ohms 1 will be positive grade, moving Columbia forward and higher on her flight path, placing Columbia in orbit. Standing by for ignition, 10 minutes, 22 seconds. Columbia, 67 nautical miles in altitude. 1,160 nautical miles downrange. Roger, Columbia, they're looking good to us. A status check in the control center.